In Northeast Indiana, Allen County remains in yellow status and Huntington County is still in the orange on the state's weekly county metrics map, which was updated today. As Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose explains tonight, health leaders say remaining in the same color category is not necessarily good news right now. If you are positive, Stay at home. Huntington County's public health officer says two large gatherings contributed to rising cases there, keeping the county in orange on the state's COVID map for the second week in a row. Dr. Matt Flieger says he's particularly frustrated that people aren't taking their positive test results seriously. Here's what's super frustrating and, and the clearest message I can. People are getting tested, coming back positive, and knowingly and, and just being very flippant about having COVID. They're fine with going out and just being amongst people. They don't really care. They think it's the flu. And then they're just like, I'm just going to keep living my life. However, he says each person who tests positive can easily spread the Delta variant to eight or nine people, which is significantly more than in the early days of the pandemic. This was really a wake up call to those who are eligible for vaccination and haven't taken advantage of it yet. Allen County's health commissioner says that's because local hospitals are treating and admitting more and more COVID patients. We are occasionally seeing a case of a vaccinated person require hospitalization, but it's the minority, the vast, vast majority of people who are hospitalized are unvaccinated. Allen County remained in the yellow category for a second week, but Dr. Sutter says that's not necessarily good news because the case count and positivity rate both went up. We're currently in yellow and you know we'll remain that way unless our daily case count is getting over about 105 or our uh, positivity rate goes above 10%. Now that could happen and it could happen as early as next week based on what we're seeing with the numbers right now. However, Dr. Sutter says moving into the orange category won't necessarily trigger restrictions like mandatory masking or limits on gatherings unless the hospitals get overwhelmed. He says besides getting vaccinated, another thing that will help contain the spread is if everyone masks up when indoors, regardless of their vaccination status. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC.